Hey everybody! Thought I'd just come and give you a little bit of an update. Um, life has been very busy lately. Like, it's been pretty phenomenally busy. I mean, we got some chances to, like, hang out and stream with Karen and stuff, and that was loads of fun. Played some good games. Definitely done a lot of VR stuff. Um, well, tried to do a lot of VR stuff. I haven't done loads. Uh, played golf with my dad. And today it was really funny because he realized that for the last nearly two years, even though I've been trying to tell him, his meta avatar has been a female torso. So yes, my dad has been rocking man boobs. Um, but not just man boobs, proper full-on female attire. He promised to change his avatar before next time. Uh, but we play golf still every, every Wednesday. Golf Plus, of course. Um, and I just want to thank for whomever has used various links or asked me for links to kind of because I got some meta credit out of that and then I used it for DLC courses and it helps me connect with my dad because I don't want to pay the DLC price for the courses because they're too expensive and I don't know I don't I, I don't trust that at some stage it's not just gonna evaporate and no longer be supported I don't know I hope I hope I really hope that meta will not do that now we've had some interesting news since the last live stream and uh this past sunday fully intended to stream got all this stuff done in the house i uh, was helping my wife uh basically move some boxes around and then i got to the point where i just was out of energy and so um this is something that i i keep running into uh, just in the last couple of weeks is a lack of of adequate residual energy to keep something going. Like the creative part of me is still thriving and burning, but like the the energy pot is like waning at the moment. Uh, for those who don't know, I, I, I took on, well, I've, I've been through a number of pretty big changes. Earlier in the year, it was six weeks of looking after my kids with my wife gone away and I was working a corporate job at the same time. We were going through a corporate restructuring. The whole company was losing tens of thousands of staff globally, a real big cut. And uh, thankfully I wasn't cut. In Converse, I was promoted actually in advance of the big change. And now I have a lot more responsibility. So my work job, uh, my day-to-day -day work is taking me somewhere between 12 and 14 hours a day of my time. I get maybe an hour to myself in the evenings that I'm not watching the kids, and on the evenings I'm watching the kids, it's just kid juggling. So, get to the weekend, I gotta do, you know, normal IRL stuff, whether it be taxes or mowing the lawn or what have you. And, um, I just find myself in a time deficit, not, not really having enough time, uh, and oftentimes just not enough energy to commit to it. I have all these things that I have to do, in a week that I've committed myself to. I'm definitely overstretched. And some of the changes that I tried to make were reducing back, balancing with Karen, my wife, and trying to kind of have a 50-50 split of like free available time. We put that in play like maybe a year ago or something. And now I'm, um, that's all working pretty well. We are happy, the family's good. Um, but I don't know. I, I don't feel like I'm serving the stream enough. And on the days when I feel like I have, which is now just Sunday, to be able to serve the stream, if I don't get lucky and I have other things I've done, like I went out with my kid into the park or, as I said, like helping my wife with something, doing other cleanup jobs around the house because of all of our pets and all the mess that they create, just general tidiness stuff, the end of all of that, I'm like... I don't, I don't have, I don't have the Zim in me anymore. Like it's, it's gone. And I want to just like collapse on the couch and sleep or whatever. Even tomorrow, I'm up at like 520 in the morning to get ready for, for another call, uh, early on with Asia or whatever. So I just thought I'd update you all and let you know what was going on. Why I haven't seen as much of Zim lately. Well, I've got a lot of heavy responsibilities. My boss also left in the middle of this, not related to the cuts. And uh, so I've got Big Boss looking after me, who seems to respect me, which is great, but it's extra work. And then I've got my old life, my old job. And then I've got a new set of responsibilities and six people to look after. And I'm trying to be an inspiration for them, look after their careers, 
They've got their own stuff going on. And in the midst of all of this, 13th of November is looming. I'm still, I've still got an exit date from Canada. If we get to the point and I have to leave the country, uh, change jobs and countries and all of that, I do not have the energy in my soul really to do that. So I'm praying out there to the universe that hopefully we're able to extend our stay in Canada at least until we can get permanent residency and clear that hurdle and then hopefully get to home ownership at some point after that. Anyway, that's a lot about me. I've been enjoying some quest stuff on the sides. Tried to play a little bit more Stranger Things watching when I was watching my daughter the other night. Realized that wasn't a great idea as I was trying to like throw stuff as Vecna. That didn't work so well. But I said golfing tonight was great. Um, the other thing that's really cool is just being able to take virtual desktop and grab a, you know, wireless mouse and keyboard that connect via Bluetooth kind of to the next floor and then just play Helldivers on a big flat screen or a big curved screen with virtual desktop. Like that's that's been really cool. But like proper VR stuff, man, I've got my like PS5 sitting in the corner and it's like, play with me, you know? I go to the PS5 less than I do the, the quest these days, just simply because it's easier for me to just grab the quest. Like it's literally right next to me here. Um, it's just like sitting there. I'm like, whoop, and it's on my face. And it's super easy. So yeah, I just thought I'd update you on what was going on with me. Because I feel like streamer guilt, like all the time when I'm not, you know, flat out for 14 hours. Like the next thought when I recover after about an hour's worth of bounce back time, I'm like, damn, should I make something? Should I stream something? Should I just like do anything to create something for people? And I, and then I and then the quality quotient comes in. Like, I don't know. Quality sometimes is uh, is a demotivator because it's like I want to produce something quality, but then it's like, but I don't have the time. So should I produce nothing? You have no idea the amount of, like, short little clips that I've recorded of myself, like, doing something, showcasing something, and then I just choose it's not ready or it's not right or, you know, just kill it. And I think that's an important thing as an artist to, like, decide what you're going to put out and what you're not going to put out. Um, certainly the best artists that I appreciate do that. You know, they are very careful about what goes out uh, into the public domain. Uh, I'm not that careful. Um, and that's purposeful because I think it's important to make mistakes and be earnest and open um, with what you create, your medium or whatever. So this is all to say, I hope that you're all keeping well. And, uh, you know, I, I watched some comedy. Keeps hopefully the funny bone in me still sparking up. And I look forward to streaming again very soon. Uh, no, no real change to the schedule. Sundays is the day. If I get a chance, we'll reintegrate. The Thursday show, which I'm spending with my wife now, just to give us a little bit more kind of coupley time. Um, but eventually the idea is to do a little bit more duet stuff. We've been enjoying it. It's uh, it's actually been really, really fun. In this kind of a format. Just like this. Us, you know, sitting there, playing away, swapping the headset, doing different stuff. Maybe stabbing some bats. Who knows? Bob's your oyster. That's him. I'm out of here. Oh, but one thing I wanted to say. I've changed my outro music. Good old Purple Planet, like, shafted me with a bunch of stuff. Now, they have added me to their whitelist, but I got, like, I don't know, 30, 40 claims on videos. I'm like, what the heck? Your content, honey? What, what's going on? So I've changed my outro music. I hope you enjoy it. This is quite a thing, because this is standard on every single show. Um, and then hopefully next, I'd... I've been saying this for years. I hope I can get Karen to tinker on, uh, tinker with Belle. Get Belle to do, like, cute messaging or, or something. Belle's so important to me. It's the way that you guys are able to communicate with me when I'm live across any platform. I still love it. It's still a unique selling point of this show. Uh, it's a great feature. I'm so grateful for Karen to have coded that. And, uh, I'm so jealous that she's working away on a game without me right now. But one day we'll get to collaborate again together on something, code something, and release something that you're able to play. That won't necessarily be VR. We're not there yet. Give us some years. But we'll get there. You'll play something naughty. I have a, uh, a very interesting design eye when it comes to games, so 
I look forward to one day uh, being able to share some of those thoughts with you in a playable format. Till later. Thanks for hanging out. If you watch this all the way to the end, well, you get the you get the outro music. See you on the next stream. Zim out. Damn, I'm grooving. I couldn't leave. This is too good. God, I love it. I hope you guys like it too. But if you don't, well, too bad. It's totally here to stay.